everybody, this is Gwen. I, I just wanted to do a quick little video to talk about my class called Of Angels and Icons. This is a class that is inspired by all of the icons I saw when I was in Russia last year, as well as some beautiful pieces of Mexican folk art that I have really fallen in love with. And I kind of meshed them all together along with my own spin, and this is sort of what came out. And obviously you could do whatever style appeals to you. It doesn't have to be a woman. It doesn't have to be an angel. There doesn't have to be a halo or something that ties this to an icon. The The point of it is to take some of these different techniques and to just create a whole mixed media piece that really speaks to you and speaks a bit about who you are. But in this case, I've got a couple of different samples that you can see. This is what we will be doing. Well, this is kind of what we'll be doing in class. It depends on where you want to take yours. But this is sort of the starting point that you can work from. And you can see that we're going to be working on a canvas. One of the things for the class is, that's provided is an 11 by 14 canvas for you to work on. You'll want to bring with you some gesso and some matte medium. And then one of the things that you'll want to do is one of, as part of the class technique is we'll create a background. So for the background, you're going to need some papers. So some of the types of things that I like to use, maps, book text, foreign book text, um, different collage papers, tissue paper with printing on them. I love to use these papers where I've cleaned off my brushes and I've cleaned molding paste off of my stencils and I've got some different textures and colors and I do that a lot on deli paper and copy paper so it's quite thin. That type of thing works really well for this if you wanted to use some patterned paper that's very thin. You don't want to use anything that's re that you really love in the background because we will cover a lot of it up. But it's also a good place to use jelly prints. You can see I've got just a whole bunch of jelly prints that I haven't done anything with. That's a great place to use this type of thing as well. So bring some papers with you. Bring some paints. I would recommend gold, but that is up to you. Um, bring probably some ink pads if you like to. The ones that I use most are the sepia and the jet black from Ranger Archival Inks. We'll probably use those and some applicators. I really like these a lot too, but again, totally optional. Depends on what sort of thing you like to do. Uh, you may want to um, bring some paint pens or something like that to do some mark making. Do make sure that you have some brushes. Have some brushes or something that you can use to apply matte medium. I like these Princeton Catalyst tools to apply matte medium and glues. I have used these really super cheap brushes also to apply gesso and matte medium. And then you'll probably want a few other brushes that you can use to put the paint onto the background. Um, one of the things that we'll do in the class is I will give you some different options for creating these halo type things that you can do, these icon inspired parts. Uh, I'll bring some different things there, some different options. If you have something you would really like to use, go ahead and bring that with you. I would suggest bringing different jewels. Um, you could use a glitter glue. You could do some liquid pearls or stickles. These are both things that I use on a regular basis, especially in this type of a project. So you could bring those with you. Um, I will also bring several different options for wings. We can do stenciled wings. We can cut them out of paper. We can do all kinds of different things for wings. You could also bring some with you. If you have something that you really want to use, there are different things that you may have. You may have wooden wings. Um, these will be a little different because if it's flat, it's a little bit better because it'll be easier to work with. But if you have something like this that you really want to use, then there are ways to work around that dimension as we assemble the piece and we can work on that together in class. Something like this, I have this set of vintage metal wings. These would be wonderful if you wanted to use something similar like that, if you had foil. Another thing that would work really well for wings would be something like these large Dresden wings. Um, I have these in my shop and these would be wonderful. I may actually use those on the next one that I do. That's an option as well. So other things that I will bring, but you can also bring if you would like to. I'm going to bring all kinds of different flowers this kind of thing that you can put on your person. Uh, I have a bunch of that sort of thing. On this one, I made this myself. This is a felt, an applique made out of felt and embroidery and beads that I did, and I, I applique that onto netting and then added that to my piece. If you have something that you would like to bring with you, go ahead and bring it. It doesn't have to be flowers. You don't have to use flowers 
on your piece. Whatever really speaks to you, you can use. I will also bring lots of different resin flowers. If you'd like to put a flower in your in her hair, you can see I've done that on both of mine. I will also have keys and some clay hearts or also clay to make hearts if you would like to embed something in them. You can see that both of my ladies have got a heart on there with a key that hangs from it. So that's an option for you as well. If you want to bring other pieces, metal findings and things that would go around that, feel free to bring those. Um, and anything that you might like to use in the background. I would bring some stencils. You can see I've stenciled in the background on both of mine. This is a stencil, as is that. You could bring some molding paste, some colored texture paste. I like the gold embossing paste from Wendy Vecchi. This is done with embossing powder. If you wanted to bring some embossing powder and a pigment ink pad and a heat gun, um, a good heat gun that will heat emboss, not just like the Ranger one that's good for drying paint, that would work. And then the other really important thing that you're going to want to bring with you is paper, fabric, trims, things to make your doll, your paper doll that's going to go on the front here. You can see both of mine, they're a little different, done in very different styles. I wanted her to be less of a saint and more of a kind of an Asian inspired butterfly fairy or something. So they have a little bit of a different look to them. So you can go in whatever direction you want. Go with the colors and the patterns and the textures that you like. I love to bring textiles into these. I have sari trim, different ribbons, all these kinds of things. That's the sort of thing that would be wonderful. Patterned paper. You can see I, I've still used here papers where I've cleaned off my brushes and paints. Paste, papers where I've tested out stamp designs and then just regular pattern papers and textiles. So bring that sort of thing. I will provide a pattern and we will talk about how you can modify that. You can see how I've modified my pattern here to give her something that looks more like a kimono. So we can modify that. And then the other thing that I will give you is an option for heads. This is just a sample. I'll have some different stamped heads available or I may bring the stamps with me or stamp them. It depends on how much room I have in my suitcases. But I'll bring some different options. Uh, this is a Lynn Perella stamp. This is a Dina Wakely stamp. If you have one that you know that you want to use, bring that with you. Um, I would not suggest a magazine. They just, they, it would not work so well with this particular technique, but if you have some kind of an illustration or something, go ahead and shrink that down to size. You don't really want it to be any more than about two and a half inches tall. That's probably going to be the best size for this type of, for this canvas. So I will bring that and we will talk about different ways to build the whole thing up, but we will do the background, we'll create wings and halos and paper dolls, and we'll bring the whole thing together. And I hope that you are excited. I'm really excited about it and I'm looking forward to seeing you there. <laughs>